Okay, back here's a sample of the sassafras wood. This is an example of how the tabletop would meet the apron with the apron hanging down below what would be the tabletop. And you can see that the stain is taking very differently depending on the grain of the wood. So you're looking at a lot of variability in the stain um, color with this type of wood. Here's the top of the plank um, with some of those wonderful gouges that you like. And again, you can see, depending on how open the grain is, the stain is darker or lighter. And I kind of like this stuff. Um, and then uh, there's one other thing I wanted to show you, which is the um, edge of a board that um, was a rough cut and not um, joined to be perfectly flat and smooth. The example of the tabletop um, meeting the apron that I gave you, this edge has been um, made very smooth and straight and so it has a very clean uniform look to it. This is an edge of one of these sassafras boards that has been rough sawn but then um, not not joined to be smooth. And on the left here, where the stain is really dark, you see um, what that rough sawn um, edge looks like with stain on it um, when it hasn't been altered in any way. And over on the right here is how the edge of the board takes stain with a light um, sanding by hand, just to sort of knock off the, the roughest parts. And then that's the, the look you get. I thought that was kind of a cool look, that one on the right, which I thought, you know, um, might be an alternative to a perfectly smooth um, um, edge. And then keep in mind, we'll probably do a little treatment on these corners. They won't, they won't remain perfectly sharp. We'll round them over or something, depending on what kind of a look you want. And uh, so that's what I know for now. I'll give you a call and see if you have any uh, feedback about how this wood might suit your needs.